Hello everyone, quick demo of the Easy Assessment app which is available now in the iTunes store. Here's how it works. Move into the app and you will see that you have a three options. Now these three options are designed to be very simplistic and the very first thing that you need to do is set up. Because you need to set up your groups and the rubrics that you would like to use to assess your students or your class or whatever it might be. The first thing you should do is set up your groups and you do so by adding in groups uh, as many as you like. Now there's already a group in here at the moment but I'm going to add a new one and I press the edit button and then I add the group and I'm going to call it Year 5 English. Press done and if I press done again you'll see that the option for that class is now present. If I click on that class I now get the choice to enter students for that class. So press edit again and you can enter your students. Now I'll make a few mock students and you can ed edit your entire class and add them. And when you're done, there's your students in your class, your group set up. You press the back button until you get back to rubrics. At this point, you can create a rubric. Now, these are the rubrics that are already within the app. If I go edit and create a new rubric, I might call this one oral presentation. And over here, you've got the option to select the scale that you would like to use. Now, 1 to 5 is something that I tend to use a lot in my teaching. However, you could use 1 to 8 or you might even use 1 to 10. But let's use 1 to 5 for this purpose. Then we hit done and done again. And we've now added the um, oral presentation rubric. If we select that, then we can go into the option here to add the criteria for that rubric. And these are the things that you will be judging the students on. Now, as an oral presentation, it might be um, on information. It might be on speech. And let's say it's on choice of uh, word choice. That probably sounds better. And you can add as many as you like. And these are the things that you will assess. Now, we've set up our class and we've set up our rubrics. Now it's time to begin an assessment. If we hit assessments, you can see that we've got two groups. Now we want to assess the Year 5 English class. And it says we haven't taken any assessments for that class yet. So let's add an, add an assessment in here. And it's good practice to say um, the date. So let's just say we're going to use the 18th of the, uh, the 12th, 11. And that was what we'll call it. So we can always recognize that the assessment took place for that class on that date. Hit done and then we hit that assessment. We can choose to select all the students or deselect or pick individual students that you would like to assess. When you've done that, hit done and you get the choice to select the rubric. Now you could select any rubric that you wanted to so that you can make the rubric once and then do it for multiple classes. But we're going to use the oral presentation. And then here we are. You can see that we've got student Peter in year 5 English and we're looking at the oral presentation rubric. We get to slide it along using our scale that we determined to make our assessment. We can hit next to go to the next student and do the same thing. And for each student you will see that there's the option for notes. If we hit notes we can leave a comment and we can also add a photo. Take it from something that we've already done from our library or we can actually take a photo of that as um, evidence of them being able to do it. However, given it's an oral presentation, it might be fantastic to record the footage. So let's go to the library and we'll hit take video. And that will add it to um, our little indicators here so that we can view it um, as evidence of our learning. Once we've done that, we hit save and we hit finish once we've done all our students and we get prompted to save and we're done. And we can do that for as many students as we like and then when finished we can hit send results, select our group and we can send it to Dropbox or via email. There's a quick tour of easy assessment. Hopefully now you can get started and find use for it.